Hi everyone, welcome back to Media Moogle. I am Old Gamer Joe as always. Today we are taking a look at fun puzzle game Pushy and Pulley in Blockland. This one comes from Resistance Studio. It was released as of May 4th, 2020 on Steam and the Xbox One it is now available as well. The PlayStation 4 version is said to be coming soon. They don't have a concrete date, but the Nintendo Switch version will be coming on May 21st. Whenever it's dealing with puzzle games, I've always preferred the arcade style ones such as Puzzle Bobble, one of my favorite puzzle arcade games, and Super Puzzle Fighter, things along that line. Pushy and Pulley in Blockland definitely maintains the feel of that style of game, while having an identity all of its own that makes it a really fun both single and co-op player experience. So you will play as Pushy or Pulley in this game, and both if you're playing in co-op, and they're on a quest to get their spaceship back and fly it across Blockland. This is done by pushing around blocks into enemies and linking them together to create cool combos which will also sometimes create other weaponry which can be used against the enemies as well. For example, linking three bomb boxes together can create a bomb and this can cause a more devastating range of damage for enemies. Or linking together three star blocks will create a concrete block which you can then pick up and throw at your own will at whoever you wish. And because your enemies like to have different patterns in this game and move around quite a bit, you'll have to be careful about about which blocks you push. But not only that, this game also tracks a high score and you can earn 1-ups by having a higher score, but it also goes towards the leaderboard for bragging rights. Going through the different rooms in this game is an absolute blast, especially in co-op, 50 levels and 5 worlds, all of which have a unique theme to them and a boss character to deal with at the end. Most of these bosses involve strategically moving the blocks around to damage him, just as you would the enemies in this game, but they tend to be bigger, badder, and more dangerous. But to add to the challenge is a timer, and you will need to wipe out all of the enemies before that timer runs out, or else a weird UFO shows up with a laser beam and will just continually track you down and try to kill you. You can do your best to try to outrun this UFO, more often than not it's going to catch you, but on a few occasions I was able to survive its onslaught and defeat the enemies even with the UFO in the room, which feels really satisfying. You'll also come across a world map in this game, pretty similar to something you would find in, say, Super Mario World, and I really did like that nice touch. So I was able to play in both single player and co-op with my partner Angela and she had an absolute blast doing that with me as well. In my opinion, this was the better way to play the game. It's a lot of fun working together with a partner, even though I will say the single player is still pretty addicting and a lot of fun on its own. This is a title that also does a good job with ramping up its difficulty. It doesn't throw a lot at you at once and it slowly, progressively gets harder and harder to the point where it's actually a pretty difficult game at times. You can only take one hit of damage in this game and you're out. That's where the co-op partner can come in handy at times. You take that damage though, you do have a set number of lives, but you will eventually be able to continue and there's no limit on continues. Because of that, I never felt too frustrated with the action and I was able to hop back in pretty quickly, clear my head for a moment and get right back to solving the puzzles. I also want to mention that a few of the rooms in Pushy and Pulley in Blockland are actually designed to be beaten in a certain way. Most of them involve you being able to go on your own course and figure it out yourself, but there are a couple moments that are fairly scripted in this game. Not too many though. Graphically, you will be treated to some old school arcade pixel art that I really, really like. This is a bright and endearing game that is full of color and magic. There's so much personality in the different enemies and the characters that you play as themselves, and it all really works well together. This game kind of looks like Candyland brought to life or something. I just really was appreciative of the graphics. They do look fantastic. Very colorful, like I mentioned, and very bright and cheery will certainly bring a smile to your face. The soundtrack is equally joyous and definitely not grating, which says something because usually in puzzle games you're hearing a lot of the same song over and over again, but I absolutely enjoyed the quirky melodies, the funny bouncy tunes, and the different orchestration methods that they use throughout the different levels. Really fun soundtrack that may not be something you would listen to on your own time, but is really great in the context of the game. Pushy and Pulley and Blockland definitely reminds me of the better days of arcade puzzle games in the late 80s, early 90s era. From its addicting look, gameplay, and soundtrack to its fonts which are huge, bubbly, and as you would expect of that era. If anything, I wanted more levels out of this game because it really is that much fun, but at the same time I will have a blast going back through the different levels which you can select at free will and trying to get those vaunted 3 star rankings by performing well. When push comes to shove, this is a game that you will absolutely want to check out, particularly if you are a fan of old school arcade style puzzle games. 
For more information on Pushy and Pulley and Blockland and all of our other content, head on over to MediaMoogle.net where we have some great podcasts like I Dream of Indie for you to choose from. And if you have enjoyed our video content today, please do consider helping us bring a voice to the voice list by pushing the subscribe button below. If you really, really like us, you can head on over to Patreon.com slash MediaMoogle where we have three wonderful tiers for you to check out currently. And if you don't like signing up for things like that, you can just do a one-time donation in the link below should you wish. Thank you so much for watching Media Moogle.